Hey everyone, it's Rose from Jump to Designs, and today I'm going to be doing another plan with me for the first week of December. So this was a look at my spread last week for Thanksgiving. This week, I definitely want to try to switch it up a little. I really like fall, but I'm just ready to get out of those colors and get into um, just winter and the colder weather. So this week I have a few things going on that I need to make sure I remember and I mark down. I have my semi-formal on Saturday, which I'm so excited for. And then a few other things like exams and chapter. So first I'm just going to show some of the stickers I'm using. And first I'm showing something I'm so excited about. This is our new This and That stickers. And these I just love so much. They are so great because with ours you have the choice of all of these colors. So you have your like reds and pinks to blues, greens, and um, some neutral colors, which is awesome. Then you have all of these icons to choose from. And the great thing about our This and That stickers is you literally can choose the icons you want to use. Like the hydrate one, or like the fork and knife for meals and TV. You literally customize it however you want. which is, And so this way you get the stickers that you will actually use in your day-to-day -day life, which is totally awesome. So the ones I'm going to use today are our cleaning ones in rainbow. Then our meal ones in just like a red and a pink. Our gym ones in purple and green. Our TV ones in rainbow. Which I think the rainbow looks so pretty. I just love it. My mom did such a great job. The hydrate stickers, which I am so obsessed with, which you can tell from me shaking them. Some more TV ones and more TV ones. I just wasn't sure how many colors I would need. So that is that for the this and that. So be sure to check them out on our Etsy shop. And so these are also our new heart checklists. And what I like about these that we switched them up a little is how narrow they are. I know a lot of other checklists can kind of be thick. And I've noticed from using them myself that it's kind of hard to write in it. So we made them narrow. These are some of our new headers we had today to buy this and that which go with those, then goals, and then urgent, and then we have to clean, and next week, which I really like the next week ones, and then to do, and lastly, school, which I may be using those in this spread, but I forget if I use them or not. So that is it for our headers and this and that stickers. I just wanted to show them off in this video. So for this week, I really wanted to use this sheet of stickers, which is so pretty. I really wanted to get away from the fall colors, but not totally into Christmas. But I am using our Christmas sweater full boxes, which I think match pretty well with the red and the green and brown. Then I'm doing the Christmas sweaters with transparency, some to-do wood, some flags, weekend banner, these little tassels, the countdown to Christmas, which I am just so excited for. So now that I've showed all the stickers, it is time to get into this video. Heart breaks and promises. I've had more than my share. So first I'm just gonna start out like everyone else does by adding the to-do headers to the top. Nowhere. Nowhere. 
And after I add the to-do headers, of course you gotta add your matching heart checklist. After that is done, I'm just going to be adding some today headers to the middle section of my planner. Words are so easy to say, but you got to show me love. Now I'm going to be adding some wood washi to the bottom and I feel like literally the past few weeks it has been wood washi at the bottom. I just love the way that the wood looks in the spreads. I just really like it so maybe next week I'll switch it up. But now on top of that I'm just going to be adding the Christmas countdown stickers. So now I'm going to be doing the this and that stickers. And so what I decided to do first was add some a hydrate sticker at the bottom because I need to make sure I do that every single day. Next I added a meal one, then a workout one, and then I'm going to be adding the header. And I just love the way it turned out. I love our stickers so much. They're just so pretty and they're so different. And so this week, because it is a busy week, I will not be able to work out, but there is Scream Queens coming on. Anyone else watch that? And so this is what it looks like after filling in the rest of the week. And I am so obsessed with how it came out, guys. I think it looks so good. So now I'm going to be starting to fill in the rest of the week with my full boxes. And I'm just trying to figure out which ones I want to go for the weekend. So for this, I decided not to do a today header. I just put a full box there because on the weekends, I really don't do much. I really don't even look at my planner at all. So I figured I might as well just cover it up. And now I'm just putting the rest of the full boxes wherever I thought they looked the best. And now I'm going to be adding they're covering up the thankful thoughts with the last of the full boxes just to add a little bit of decoration up there. And then I'm going to be adding the clean sticker and a half box heart checklist which came from the main sticker sheet that I was using. And now I'm just actually going to be using one of our today's stickers and folding over the to-do, I mean to-do stickers and folding over the to-do and putting a goal sticker there. So this is a great way to show you guys that if you did buy the to-do stickers and you realize that you know you just want a different header to go with it, it's easy enough just to fold it over or I could have just cut it off and I'm sure that would have worked fine too, but I decided to fold it over. Now I'm adding a next week sticker to this one because now that it's getting close to finals week. I know I should be studying a lot next week. And to buy a sticker at the bottom. So this is what it looks like so far. And I also filled in the rest of the white space. Sometimes I'm fine with white space, but this time I just decided to fill it all in. And I switched some of the full boxes with the full box transparency. Now I'm adding these little stickers from Sweet Quiet Design just to mark off the two days that I have tests going on and I'm adding this cute little tassel banner from our shop just to mark when I have my semi-formal because I'm just really excited for that and now after I 
put in the tassel banner, I'm just going to go through and fill in everything that I have to do that week. So this is it all done and now I'm just going to add in some of the decorative stickers that we have along with this sheet, which I love. I think the cardinals and the birdhouses are so pretty. So be sure to check us out on Instagram at Jump To It Designs to keep up to date with any new releases. And I will be showing a sneak peek of my week uh, probably halfway through. Also, be sure to check us out on our Etsy at Jump To It Designs Inc. And that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Bye.